We try to share our uh, life, our culture, our tradition. It's something that uh, go across boundaries. Morocco fascinated me. I love that it's a melting pot of influences and cultures. When I walk through the Medina, I feel like I'm walking through centuries of history. Here is a typical house door. The small one was for people and the big one for horses. Oh, okay. yeah. <laughs> The Sahara Desert is one of those things you read in the books and you see pictures of all these sand dunes and vast wasteland almost. In the middle of this mountain of sand that goes on and on and on and on and then there's green. There's palm trees, there's dates, there's figs. It really is miraculous. Alfus, it's a part of Tafilelt Oasis in the southeast of Morocco. It's the biggest uh, oasis in all Africa. I was really surprised at how many people were willing to let us into their daily lives, true Moroccan lives. Yes, we're seeing the tourist areas, but we're seeing it in a different light. We had the opportunity to visit the house of a lady by the name of Fatima. She was the oldest of seven children. Her parents died very young, and she ended up taking care of her brothers and sisters. Her husband divorced her because he didn't want to take on that responsibility. Yet here's this woman who hasn't had an easy life, and she invited us into her home. I felt very privileged and honored to be invited into the homes of the women, and that's where we saw the strength. We were able to spend time with a nomadic Berber woman, and here we are in the middle of the desert, sitting on the sand under a patchwork tent, drinking the same mint tea that everybody else in the country is drinking. What struck me is that no matter how different we are, we're still the same. us. Like they love their country, they love their families. They want a better life for their children and their grandchildren. Most of the work, it's up to the woman. She takes care of the house, the children, the husband, uh, the food, the all, and in addition to the work outside. Very often we are put into a category. We are mothers, grandmothers, wives, whatever it is. And women need to give themselves permission to be all that they can be. Step away from who others think they should be. I'm 75 years old, I want to experience, I want to grow, I want to learn, I want to be who I am. And that is not someone who is growing old at home. I want to be young and vibrant and healthy. By traveling and by immersing myself in other cultures, it helps me connect emotionally. When we're fulfilled and we're happy, we radiate that happiness. I believe that education and the knowledge of each other is going to bring great change in the world.